Hey guys, Gabby Geek here, and welcome to this unfortunately sad news to do with Watchdog, where Ubisoft have delayed it until spring of next year. Now, they've not just delayed that, they've also delayed the crew until around the same time as well. Now, they've done this basically so that they can work on improving some issues in the game, making it a lot smoother. You know, it's a big open world game, you know, the guys at Rockstar did it with GTA 5. This is what can happen sometimes with open world games, where there are lots of little things that do need to be changed, and it's not quite as easy as maybe some other games to make uh, these sort of changes. So they have decided to delay it, and I actually completely respect Ubisoft for taking that call because it isn't an easy call at all. They're actually going to be losing out on uh, quite a bit of money from doing this. But, you know, by improving the game, you know, they hopefully are going to sell more at launch. So it's sort of like them doing a little last-minute investment in uh, trying to, you know, obviously make a better game overall. And, you know, as gamers, I can respect that and, uh, you know, hopefully enjoy the game more when it actually does come out. Uh, so, what did this mean for you guys that pre-ordered it? If you pre-ordered the normal edition, obviously you're going to have to wait until, um, you know, next year and you'll get your pre-order as normal. Now, I know a few people, as Amazon were sending out emails for anyone that had PS4 pre-orders, I know a few people have actually switched to the Watch Dogs bundle. You know, you filled out this little form and then they put you on the list to switch you over to the, the Watch Dogs PS4 bundle. Now, I have talked to someone from Amazon and I have also um, been reading an article which um, a fellow YouTuber friend of mine uh, happily linked me to. And I put his um, YouTube uh, channel link in the description. You can go and check him out. And uh, basically, uh, people from Amazon, some representatives, are basically saying that um, all your orders in the Watchdog PS4 bundle um, will you'll basically still keep your place in the queue whenever you pre-order that or you know whenever you switch to whatever everything still stays so whenever you did your first pre-order whether you pre-order the PS4 first and then switched over to the Watchdogs bundle or whether you just pre-order the Watchdogs bundle first your pre-order stays exactly where it is but in about a week's time I was talking to someone from Amazon and they said in about a week's time you will be getting some new emails giving you the option to either switch to a different bundle or just have the PS4 on its own and basically um, you won't miss out in the queue you'll basically get your console in the same order that you're going to get it anyway but you can um, revert to just getting the PS4 on its own um, or getting a different bundle or possibly and don't quote me on this um, it may be a possibility that you can pick up your Watch Dogs game later on so you still got the Watch Dogs bundle but they'll just send you the game when it comes out at launch but more information will be sent to that, so don't worry, just sit tight, you'll get an email and that will all be completely explained to you. But I thought no other YouTuber uh, was making a video uh, about the game and explaining that at the same time, in case you did have a pre-order, because obviously Amazon is a big company, so a lot of people do have pre-orders. Um, I imagine this would be the same with pretty much any other company, but if you are unsure, just, you yeah, know... Uh, Give a little email or call to your the company you have pre-ordered it with, and I'm sure they'll clear things up with you. But there we go. It is sad, but also, you know, don't forget, it's not really such a bad idea. You've got more development time, which is always a good thing, I feel. And also, I think Watch Dogs was out as a bad time because it was sort of competing with lots of other games. It was competing with Assassin's Creed and also with the crew that's coming out. And, you know, all these games coming out near launch, you know, people's money already being spent on the new consoles you know, it just really wasn't going to work out the best. By delaying it a bit, then, you know, people are going to have a bit more money after Christmas. By, you know, by spring, people have a bit more money. And, you know, they'll maybe have more chance of buying your games. So, you know, I think it's going to work out best, you know. Too many games near launch, I don't think is always a good idea. Because, you know, it's always difficult to know what to buy. Especially for me as a student, it's going to really help me out. Because uh, I have got so many games that uh, I need to spend my money on. So, uh, there we are. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Like the video if you did find this useful in any way. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. But as always, drink tea and game on.